What's up, everybody? It's me, Faxman4691, aka Malcolm, and this is usual end of cycle vlog, I guess. But, um, I haven't done a vlog in like, what, three, four months, maybe? So, I just wanted to talk about the, a little bit of the stuff that I see happening around the SNTM community, I guess. And I've been waiting for a whole long month. Because I usually, when I start a cycle, I just want to finish it, get it out the way, and then focus on, I guess, being social. But I'll get to that later. But, there's one, there are a couple of things that I've seen that has been really agitating is when people harass you to apply for their shows. Um, now, let me rephrase that, I guess. When you're beginning a cycle, like, if it's your cycle one, then, yes, I understand, like, you know, you want to, you know, get out there and you want people to apply your sims and so on and so forth. But please do not, like, it's not okay to send mad inboxes, apply, 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 or, or anything of the sort. A suggestion, I guess, what I did was, a lot of, there are um, a couple of creators that what they do is they make their sims for SMTM videos. If you use that, use those videos and kind of just pick it because I feel like for your cycle one, of course you want people to apply, but the thing is you need, you just need girls to start because when you your first cycle, you know you're obviously this is your first time doing it, so you don't have a lot of experience. So what you do is you should usually just go on those type of videos, like I said, and then do your cycle from there. That's actually what I did for my first cycle. There were a lot of sims, I guess, requested. And then there were some that were sent to me. And then I picked from that group. And then, can I just say, there was one person. Cycle 1, it was a damn picture. And you expected 100 applicants. Okay, that shit's not happening. Okay, so get that out your head. Um, So that was one thing I was ir that was irritating. Another thing that was irritating was the amount of people that would post up bulletins or statuses saying that they're leaving. If you're going to leave, then leave. I mean, why waste your time? I mean, if you're going to leave, you know, you have your reasons for leaving, and I'm not knocking them. But don't sit here and, oh, I'm going to leave, and then you don't leave. Or if you do a status and you're like, oh, how many people want to see me leave? Like, I don't, I don't give a damn. So if you're going to leave, leave. That's another thing that kind of irritated me, all of that that was happening. Another thing was um, the amount, like I'm not naming no people or no names, but when I go on my news feed and you see a lot of people apply, 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 I guess that's going to the beginning one, but I, I'll speak for myself, I do not apply to a lot of beginner Sims next top model shows and the reason why I don't is because you guys like there are a lot of people that have come out with like first cycle um like that goal for their first cycle and then they quit or they cancel I'm not a fan of it I don't cancel so I'm not gonna waste my time and apply to a show that I think might cancel or you'll make the video apply video you'll do the semi-finalist you'll do the finalist but then your show never starts. Like, that's not okay. Because I do like to watch a lot of beginner since I saw model shows. Because, I mean, like I said, I was a beginner once. I know how it is. And I love seeing the improvement of somebody's show as they progress through time. So, I love watching beginner shows. But <laughs> there have been a lot that don't finish. So, get your lives together. And then, you have the ones that, oh, so... Cycle, you do your apply video, you get your semi-finalist, you get your finalist. You come up with the intro, you come up with episode one. Then, you do a cycle two apply video after one episode because you want to get sims early. No. Please, focus on cycle one first. That's not okay neither. So, there's that, that, people did that a lot and that was agitating to watch as well because it made no damn sense whatsoever to do that like I'm not applying if you only came up with one episode 
because you look like you're not going to finish. Or you just look like I just want a bunch of sims for maybe like custom content or using the sim as a base to make another sim or something like that. And P.S. I don't make a lot of sims. So usually um, if I'm applying it's maybe like one of my wax sims that I've never made one before. So I'm not a big FNTM make like I'm not an actual sim maker like myself. I suck others they're really good at it so that's me then um another thing was like no there's that but the one thing that has just really agitated me was the comments i've received for my cycle three winner if you haven't watched it if i go back you can see how she won but it's rami first of all congratulations to rami or rainy I like saying Rami, but I believe everyone probably says Rami. Rami and Sim Series Maker, congratulations, you've won. But the comments on the video I think is really appalling, and I'm really shocked and disappointed in a lot of the SNTM community, I guess. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to change. Rami won. I'm sticking with it. And one comment off the top, there were a lot of, like, I guess, haters or. Something along the terms of Niamma, she should have won. One comment, like there are two comments that got 13 likes. And it's not just, oh my god! Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm, I'm recording a vlog. Yes? Yes. Yeah, I've, I've gone too far. I'm not talking again. So, do you want me to come upstairs? You're lonely? No, when I'm finished, you want me to come upstairs? Yeah. Because you're lonely? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, bye. Ah. My bad. But, the com well, two comments got 13 likes. And one of them was like, more or less, I believe, was like, I don't give a damn as to who won. The runner-up should have won. Good luck to her. You're the you're the true winner. And you're a same as like top model material. Blah, blah, blah. It's very, like, at the end of the day, it's just Sims. But, seeing comments like that, it's not, of course, good. Because it's hurtful to me. And it's also, like, it sucks for the winner. Like, it's not just, like, 12 random sims that I went on a website and played with and, you know, no one created them. Like, it's someone actually created these sims. And, of course, like, I don't expect everyone to agree with the one. But to see those type of comments, like, someone even called her, said that she's ugly. Oh, my God. That comment, whatever, whoever it was, pissed me off, first of all. Because I look at the comments in every single video, in part one and part two, and there are definitely a lot of people that have consistently voted for Rami, for Rami, throughout the entire thing. So, when she wins, now she's ugly. Whoever that was, I'm not a fan. I wasn't a fan of that comment. I didn't appreciate it. But, I wish that people would not downplay, I wish that people would not downplay Rainy's win, and I would just wish we would congratulate Sim Series Maker on a job well done. His Sim won. Just congratulate. It was just upsetting, and I mean, usually I usually take like a mini break, and then I'll start with Cycle 4, but I really am going to take a real break because now I'm debating if I want to do this. I am doing this again for Cycle 4, but what I want to continue with because I'm not like, usually I don't care about negative comments. But to see that many negative comments, I wasn't a fan of, I was shocked, and I'm just going to have to reevaluate my life and my choices, basically. So, that was just, it's just basically, I guess, a video of me being upset. But, please, don't, I guess, bash Rainy, congratulate her, congratulate her, like, they're real people, they're Sims. But, please, congratulate Sim Series Maker on a job well done. All the comments about Niamh winning, yeah, they, I wish I, they both could have won. 
Mia Amoku was great. I loved her. I loved Rainy. All equally. Like, it was really hard to pick, but I chose my person, and that's the end of that. Um, and you can always do it in a tasteful manner. Because I know some people are like, oh, you know, I was rooting for the runner-up, but, you know, congrats to the winner. That's fine. But just don't be like, oh, you know, screw the winner, runner-up all day, or day, blah, blah, blah. So that was my rant about my Cycle 3 winner. But I do like to say congratulations to Rainy and SimSeries Maker. You beat out over 80 applicants to be the winner of Cycle 3. Um, now, that was the negative me. The positive me, because I am done with cycle 3, not starting cycle 4 no time soon, I kind of want to enjoy my summer, um, I am going to try my hardest to be on MSN much more, so you guys can talk to me, and I can talk to you guys, and because at the end of the day, whoever has had a conversation with me, you know I'm really nice, I'm really chill, so that is saxman4691 at hotmail.com, so I'm going to be on that much more often, and um, I'd also like to thank everyone that has guest judged or has helped me or has helped done a photo shoot or edited a photo for me for Cycle 3. You guys are all amazing. Those pictures always were the bomb in the guest judges. You guys really helped a lot with like critiques and stuff. And um, I loved it. And um, also, I guess updates on the world RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm kind of upset Raja won. I was definitely rooting for Alexis Mateo or Jara Sofia. Um, and then, um, class 2011. I know there were a lot of people in the SNTM community that graduated this year. So, congratulations. Welcome to college life. You need a help? You need not a help. But if you need some advice, I'm two years into the college game, so I can definitely help you out with that. And um, all my tennis fans, Wimbledon starts tomorrow, or today, technically today. So I'm really pumped and excited, and um, then, oh, I guess that's about it, about it, oh yeah, P.S., that's th this burn book thing that's happening at the current moment, it doesn't affect me, I really don't care, but I will say that you got a nice background, but I read somewhere that it might not be yours, so if it's yours, it's nice, wherever you downloaded from, it's nice too, that's all I'm going to say about you. And, um, other than that, um, I really want to get to know you guys some more, so please hit me up on MSN so we can talk, and, um, I guess that's about it. Sorry about the whole ranting on about the beginning, but it just agitates me that when people, like, come out with, like, the sim shows and cancel, but then start cycle two when we don't finish cycle one, my whole thing is that, like, really, really just finish in any like in any ways necessary because it's just frustrating when you're like watching a series and then all of a sudden they just stop or because their computer crashed but then three days later you're out with another video like that's not okay so that was it and then of course Rami like it's just kind of upsetting to see all the comments like the hate comments that or like you know shocking okay that's fine but when people are like, oh, the other person should have won, you usually get that. But to see the majority of you guys say it is just really shocking and upsetting. But um, other than that, I'd like to apologize because I'm looking at my camera. And I know when I upload this, my voice is not going to match my mouth, which is going to piss me off. And then uh, you got, um, then I'm not dark like this. I know damn well I'm not. I'm much lighter. And... If you guys didn't see, well, ladies probably wouldn't, but the Maxim poster, love it. I'm in my dorm room, obviously. I stayed here over the summer, so I have a lot of free time on my end. Um, other than that, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed Cycle 3. I apologize if I came off really angry in this video. I was just really frustrated. And um, other than that, um, that's it. So, MSN more, maybe a couple more vlogs. And I'm um, calling it a day. Peace.